Uh, excuse me, is that it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Seriously? Do you know how to edit? All right, tonight's cheat night, Friday night, and that's the night because I watch what I eat extremely strictly all week, and Friday night is the night where I just, I go crazy. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not naked right now. But anyway, we're going to be making veggie burgers, and these are wholesome pantry veggie burgers. We got them at ShopRite. So if you want to take a look at that, wholesome pantry veggie burgers. And also, too, that's the, I guess, the California one. And this right here is the masala one that has chickpeas, some chickpeas potatoes. and Indian, spi Indian spices and all. So, all right, let's make a burger. All right, the first thing I start with on cheat night is a good Guinness. Now, I'm trying to get rid of the draft bottles because I really like the cans, really like on tap, you know, preferable, but I'm not going out just for a bit. So, all right, here's the veggie burger, and we put some chow cheese mm, on it. Now. Nice and melty. Yeah, now chow cheese... Uh, we found this also at Shop, right? No, that was at Stop and Shop. Oh, this was at Stop and Shop. Yeah. Sorry. So it's by Field Roast brand, and I'm just I'm just vamping here because I'm hungry. That's man. everybody's favorite. Yeah, I really it don't care where really this stuff came from. Bottom. I'm just hungry. It's really the best fun for melting. Right. Just mayo, Thousand Island dressing, because it's been a long time since I had uh, Big Mac, and this is going to be my version of Big Mac. But you know what? These squeeze squeeze bottles can go themselves they seriously can because you leave like three quarters of it in there and you wind up cutting it open with a knife or getting your finger in there or whatever and yeah, it's just the mayo is the worst yeah the mayo just, does not come out it's just if you're having company over there they don't want your fingers in in the in, in their food all right before i go any further with building this burger these are called hippies all right they're made from chickpeas right yeah get it hippies Oh my god. Sorry, they taste Dad like crushed. they taste like dense jacks. If you guys remember jacks. And they made chickpeas. Where'd you get these? Uh CBS and the company is right down the road in Plainview. Oh, so they're in Plainview, so guys, support local business on Long Island. And if you're not from Long Island, then support other local businesses. But buy those, those are good. Oh my god, they're, they're absolutely delicious. So I got my thousand island dressing on there, which is a lot, and it's probably gonna drip all over the place, and that's fine. I'm gonna put some avocado. You can't have a California veggie burger without some some avocado. Oh Jesus! We definitely have to show them a picture of what the veggie burgers look like in the pan. They're super soft. Yeah, yeah. So take a look at them right now. If you can see, right now, it started a little bit of an argument in our household. The way you cook a burger, any burger, the way you cook anything is to let it sear so one side doesn't stick to the pan. And as you can see, some of it stick. Yeah, but it's flipping. not animal protein. It's vegetables. So it's stuck it doesn't even with the non stick If pan. you look at the two that are up here that are nicely seared, they're still the shape of a disc. You know what? The Next other time ones, you're going to cook them. You're absolutely right, Em, because these, these other ones look like an amoeba. Like, seriously, if these went to burger school, the other burgers would pick on these. All right, just make your burger. All right, so now back to that. the burger. So so then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna save the lettuce for last and throw some red onion on there. Oh, and some bread and butter, pickles, all day Move this hand a little long. bit so they can see the monstrosity you're making. Oh, my God. And then, of course, I'm going to throw some lettuce the on The buns it. are super soft. I love when burgers... I hate when burgers are on hard rolls, like at a diner or something. Yeah, oh. yeah, because then the burger slides out and yeah. everything, so... you got to have a soft roll. This Standard is oh, my yeah. one cheat night burger. You're going to probably have three. Yeah, I'm probably going to have three or four of them. How are you going to get that in your mouth? <laughs> and that's what she said. Oh, God. Can you leave those alone, please? Save some for me. I think you had enough on the way home, my dear. All right, so we're going to try this burger. So get, <laughs> getting close for a second. Take, take a look yeah, at this. I mean, uh, that's going to be... A little messy. I'm glad yeah. we didn't put the tomatoes. Oh, yeah. The tomatoes would have just been a horror show. The avocados are going to squirt right out. I know it. Yeah, squeeze it. Squeeze it. I think a lot's going to squirt out if I keep squeezing it. Oh, Jesus. That's it. Yeah. Get in there. The burger's soft, right? It's not burger-like. 
Oh my god. Okay, good. Thought you were gonna be pissed. Oh my god. Wow. It completely fell apart, but that's what it's supposed to do. And I gotta be honest, the one flavor that's really coming out is probably all over my face. It is. Okay, mm -hmm. whatever. Oh, I'm surprised I'm still dressed right now. But, mmm, the Thousand Island dressing yeah, makes it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. That seriously, seriously makes it because I don't think this would be that delicious if there was ketchup involved. Ketchup and mayo would be good. Yeah, so, I mean, the texture is not, I'm sorry, I'm grooming myself like a big <laughs> cat. So, the texture is not like a traditional murder burger at all. It's not even like a fake meat burger. It's completely soft, right? Yeah, it's not like a Beyond Burger. I'm still eating these things, so I'm like, <laughs> but it's not like a Beyond Burger. It's not like an Impossible Burger or anything like that. Certainly not like a Beyond Meat Burger. No, exactly. And, and, and no offense to Impossible and Beyond Meat. I've had them. I'm just not really a big fan of the whole meat taste anymore. And it just tastes like someone doused it with lighter fluid. It just mm -hmm. wasn't really good. Like they went for the fake smoke taste. But Yeah, but your friend liked it, right? Yeah, you no, know, my my friend. Oh, yeah, my my uh, my buddy, my buddy Paulie, just went to um to Florida with his family for a vacation. What's up, Paulie? Oh, hero lob. He had a Beyond Meat burger a couple times, and he said he had a, a sloppy Joe down there made with Beyond Meat. But he said he wasn't crazy about that. But the burgers, he absolutely loved them. To where he was texting me on the way home, saying that uh, he's thinking about him and his family changing up their diet to go a little more of a plant based lifestyle. But this is absolutely delicious. So I got a burger tonight. I'm going to have another burger later. I think there's onion rings somewhere. I got these cheese poofy crunchy things. I got bread and butter pickles. Yeah, Guinness. I, I, got, oh, I got Guinness. I got my old friend marijuana. And I got some junior mints or thin mints or whatever Stop cookies. With that. You what is it? You ate half the box already. You know, I didn't eat the box with the name on it. So what is it? Thin Mints, Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies, Thin Mints. I got pistachio nuts. D dude, seriously, I'm eating like a pig tonight. That's my goal. I that's not even that bad, really. No, I want to completely overeat, and then I want to take my shirt off and look in the mirror and just kind of admire my profile. That's not part of the doctor's orders, though. Just the first part. No, this, is, night. this is my orders. These are my orders. I usurp all orders, damn it. Now, all right, so guys, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to keep kicking ass on this burger and... Go vegan.